Metal Jesus, I'm back again to do a review of an app that I've been looking forward to for quite a while, and that is the Vectrex app that is on iOS. Now, I'm going to show you the iPad version here. Now, some of you might be wondering, what the hell is a Vectrex? Well, the Vectrex was an innovative and fairly powerful console that was released in the early 80s, right before the video game crash. Now, what this console attempted to do was bring vector-based graphics into the home, unlike anything that Atari or ColecoVision or even Intellivision were doing at the time. And it included its own monitor. So a company has resurrected this technology, included a bunch of games, and they support the iCade, which I just happen to own. So let's take a look at this and see if it lives up to the hype. Vectrex Regeneration was created by Rant Media Games. Now, to properly set the mood for playing the Vectrex, they lovingly recreated a typical 80s bedroom for the menu system, starting with the Vectrex sitting on your desk with a shelf full of games to the right. Here you can grab a game box, twirl it around, read the instructions, and revisit your high scores. Now, the app is free, but only comes with one commercial game. So when you first launch the app, you will see Mindstorm, which is an Asteroids clone, and a few homebrew games here. But you can buy all the other commercial games for less than $10, depending on what country you live in, and it will unlock iCade support. When looking at the Vectrex, you can choose whether to play the game with a plastic overlay or not, which is a really nice option. You can also adjust the sound and controls and then jump right into the game. Across from your desk on the other side of the room is an old school television with a shelf full of classic VHS tapes. I remember those massive things. Now on these VHS tapes are original Vectrex commercials, both in the US and outside, as well as a history book explaining how the Vectrex came to be. And there are some behind the scene photos of the making of the game. It's your own personal arcade. A high performance system with a built-in game plus a whole collection of arcade cartridges like Scramble. Next to that is a cork board where you pin up the achievements that you unlock while playing various games. And then finally, rounding out your bedroom is a chalkboard where global high scores are displayed. Here you can compare your score in Vectrex games with everyone else who has this app, or maybe just filter out your Game Center friends. So that's the tour. Let's check out the games. Here's Mindstorm, the Asteroids clone that's included for free. A pretty fun version of Berserk. Quite possibly my favorite version of Scramble, but don't let the flicker fool you. It's actually not that prevalent when you're playing on the iPad itself. Here's a pretty cool game called Armor Attack that reminds me of the classic combat on Atari 2600. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like with the overlay and without. Spike is probably one of the most unique and interesting games on the Vectrex. And it's a 3D platforming game. It's, it's actually pretty cool. It's pretty hard. And I'll tell you what, no other console at the time would have been able to pull something like this off. Here's a shoot 'em up in space called Starship. Now, in some markets, this was actually a Star Trek game. This is an interesting shooter that uses physics called Fortress of Narzod. See that 10 times fast. Pretty fun game. Now, again, keep in mind that the flicker that you're seeing is not how you experience it on the iPad. Web Wars is a game that shows off the power of vector graphics really well. I mean, the 2600 couldn't have done anything close to this. War of the Robots is a homebrew game that reminds me an awful lot of the Activision classic Robot Tank on the 2600. 
So that is Vectrex regeneration for the iPad. Now the question remains, does this replace owning the actual Vectrex? And you know, for most collectors like me, the answer is no. I mean, we would much prefer to own the actual hardware and use the, the real joystick as it was intended in these games. But realistically, the console itself is at least $100, if not $150, and then you add in the games. And also, a lot of times when you find games, they don't have the overlays because they've been lost over time. So this is a nice alternative that costs less than a fast food meal. And the cool thing is the developer has hinted that new games might be coming and also new homebrews. So that's a pretty cool value for relatively low money. As always, I want to thank you for watching my channel and thanks for subscribing. Take care. Give up my Atari? My television? How about for this? You bet your asteroids. Introducing the revolutionary Vectrex arcade system. No TV set needed. Instead, Vectrex has a real arcade screen built in. So you get challenging real arcade graphics and sounds with every Vectrex cartridge. No wonder Vectrex was chosen two to one over Atari and Intellivision for real arcade gameplay. So compare. Discover how Vectrex brings real arcade play home.